Let's start with this article by Federico, but not the one from Evernote. This is another Federico. This article is from 2014. He's talking about Evernote 7 for iOS. Yeah, it's a pretty old article and Evernote version, but you soon get my point. Stay with me. Okay. Evernote 7 was kind of similar to the uh, the hum with the widgets, uh, the Evernote 10 hum with the widgets. As you can see here, they look like widgets, but they are just as blocks of information sections with some notes inside them. But what I want to show you is all the way down here, the settings page. As you can see, there is there was a way to add items or remove items from this home page here this blocks this sections here the only one we couldn't remove was notes and as you can see down here show details if this is on we would see uh the information inside them if not we would jump to in this case here to the tags, the list of tags. And if we read what he wrote here, home screen customization is a big deal for my workflow. And then here, I depend on shortcuts to speed up my navigation. And this is precisely what many of you pointed out when I published my first impressions uh, video and article uh, last Saturday. And take a look at this tweet from uh, Stacy Harmon replying to my tweet. I'm also just struggling to navigate the app and get to what I want. I'm not finding it intuitive. I have to think about it a lot more than I used to. That's my feeling too. And I guess the problem is precisely how this home is not useful for my workflow is just it's exactly what Federico uh, wrote many many years ago there is a workflow but let me just make this clear first I love what the, the the team did here the app is now super fast it's it's amazing everything is opening it's it's blazing fast however uh this hum, just like Stacy pointed and some of you also pointed, in my case, for example, this is adding another step. I'm yet to use this hum after, I don't know, four or five days. Uh, yeah, no, not five, but maybe four days. I haven't created anything here. I'm constantly having to go to somewhere to find information that I need at that moment. One customization I talked about uh, on my last video, I told you I didn't know which widget I would replace uh, the scratch pad with, but now I know. I think I would replace it with the shortcuts widget. This would make this hum much more useful for me because I could rearrange my, uh, reorganize my shortcuts to make them useful. And then it would be just a, a matter of tapping the shortcut and going to that shortcut. One thing that didn't cross my mind, but many of you pointed out, why not let us uh, customize this bottoms uh, uh, in the dock here? Why not do something like this? Notes wouldn't be uh, customizable and maybe the create button wouldn't be customizable, but please Evernote, let us replace the other buttons and rearrange all the buttons in the dock. Uh, some of you even told me you don't use uh, tasks. Others don't use the calendar. And there's even a group that doesn't use either. So there are two spots there that would be useful for many people, I believe. Well, let me address this, what this is, because I'm pretty sure <laughs> some of you will ask me in the comments. So this is Obsidian, and this is a vault in Obsidian containing Evernote's history. And don't judge. <laughs> Go read this article. You'll find the link in the description below, too. Uh, I, I use multiple uh, 
apps. I'm using Obsidian here because first, the files are massive. I have many videos, institutional videos. I have my uh, B-roll videos, many, 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 many PDFs here. Uh, the files are massive. I don't synchronize this. It's only on my computer. The other reason is how Obsidian is integrated, interconnected with the file system in our computers. All this here are folders and I can easily drag any file that I need, a video, a clip, uh, an image, a PDF, I can drag them into Final Cut, which is the app I use to edit the video. Many of the times you see a, 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 a clip or an image or, or, I don't know, an article, it probably came from here. And not from Obsidian itself, I drag them from the, the, the file system, the computer file system. Uh, but let me show you, uh, let me give you a, a quick view, because although I, I like this, there is this two uh, good reasons to use Obsidian, I'm still struggling with some uh, little problems here. Okay, let me show you. So the files are organized in years and I don't have all of them here yet because again, I'm still trying to figure out how to organize this. So as you can see here, there are some videos, uh, articles and things like that. When I first started, I tried the canvas. I tried to create a, a, a timeline because I can drag the files here. This, this proved to be impossible. At least I couldn't find a good way to to represent this. This is a more recent one. Here are the CEOs. If I zoom in, you see the CEOs. And of course I can I can go to this node. Each CEO has a, a node, uh, which brings us to what I'm trying to do now. This timeline here. So each purple line here is a node. So this is Phil Levin's node. And I'm thinking of adding all the articles in chronological order here. And create and also create this small canvas. If I click here, whoops, this is uh, the Evernote Tron Conference 2012. These are some of my images, a video and other videos I, I, I made there. Long story short, uh, I can see how Scrinto would be very useful here because the problem with Obsidian Canvas is that it, it this connection here, it doesn't really exist. It's just a line. I mean, the notes are not connected. If I connect them with this line, I think Scrinto would be a much better option here, but because Scrinto is online only, I mean, there is an app, uh, but like I said, these are massive files. I, I prefer to keep them in my computer and they are much more useful if I have them uh, accessible via the file system. I'll soon publish uh, uh, some videos about Scrinto. I see it as a useful tool for people who need to do something like this, create these connections, but really connect the nodes because when you connect something on Scrinto, you are really connecting to articles when you to files when you link them with these lines. Yeah, <laughs> this is a topic for another video. For now, if you have any ideas or suggestions for the new Evernote Home, please leave a comment below. You can watch my other video about Evernote Home here, the new home here. And if you like what I do here, please, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, you can join my Patreon, become a YouTube member or buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.